Welcome to Art and Tech Class with me, Mrs. Holderbaum. I am so excited to be your teacher this year. When you come to this class, sometimes we will do art, which includes drawing, painting, coloring, cutting, gluing, and using clay. And sometimes when you come to this class, we'll do technology, which includes typing, coding, robotics, 3D printing, and sometimes using the iPad. On days that we're going to do art, when you enter the room, you will sit quietly down on the floor and listen to directions. It's important to be quiet and listen to directions so you will understand how to do the art project. I expect you to sit flat, keep your hands on your lap, and face me so that you can be a great listener. On days that we do technology, you will go to your assigned computer, log on, and wait quietly for directions. We need to keep a good noise level in our classroom. If your class does not work at the expected level, then we will go to level zero for five minutes. When I say for you to be at a level zero, that means no talking. That's usually when I'm giving directions. If I say you can talk at a level one voice, that's your whisper voice. A whisper sounds like this. Hi, how are you doing? If I say you may speak at a level two voice, that's called your table talk voice. That's when you're speaking softly to the people that are working with you at your art table or sitting next to you. Your table talk voice would sound like this. Please pass the crayons. Thank you. A level three voice is called your strong speaker voice. That's the voice you would use if you were talking to the whole class and needed everybody to hear something, like the directions. We don't use our level four voices ever inside the classroom. We save those for outside on the playground. You should never yell to someone across the room. You should never scream when you're inside the classroom. Please try to remember to use our voice level expectations. While you are in art and technology class, I expect you to work hard and be kind. I want you to feel proud of how your projects turn out. While well, in the art and tech room, you should follow our Creek expectations. C, commit to learning. R, respect others. E, everyone is responsible. E, everyone is safe. And K, kindness counts. If you follow the rules and expectations, you might get chosen for a reward. You could earn a creek slip. But if you do not follow the rules and expectations, there will be a consequence. You will need a time out to think about your behavior. I will also have you fill out a think about it form. I give you four grades on your report card. Two for art and two for technology. One grade is for trying your best and working hard. One grade is for following the class rules and expectations, so please always do your best. At the end of class, we always clean up if we are doing art or log off if we are doing computers. You are responsible for cleaning up any mess you have made. When your area is clean, you stand up behind your chair and wait to be told to line up. When your teacher arrives, you should be standing at a voice level zero in your line, facing forward with your hands at your side. And my last rule is, have fun in art and technology class. <laughs>